Why is the lighting animation slowing down? Why is the frame rate dropping? Who unplugged the power cable? Please weirdo, go away, don't dislike me. <clears throat> What's up everybody guys? Welcome back to Miyamoto tutorial. Are you interested in the lighting performance? Yeah, I can see some of you raising your hand. For all of you, I'm going to share some tips on what to do and what to avoid before you get started. So one day, one of my clients told me they were slowing the electronic music event. Can you help the uh, lighting show? And here were the requirements. We'll stack DMX pixel bars on the stage and in other place. Also, each should have different animation. A non-specialist might operate the lighting. The event was 5 hours long. He also said, let's use a template animation that come with the DMX pixel bars and switch them live. But I told him, if it's not audio reactive, I'll die. As an artist working with audio visual and touch designer, that's unacceptable, right? So after a pause, he agreed and said, yeah, okay, go for it. His face was more impressed than surprised. All right, so with those requirements in mind, what would you do first? If you were me, where would you start? I started by designing a system for switching the between audio reactive animations, colors, and the beat detection. This is the first version of the controller I made. And from this experience, I learned two things. First one is animation should sync with the beat. Of course, I tried it using the low mid high kick and the snare sounds, but it didn't work well. Trust me. Consistency is key for creating the light vibe at the event. If you use the every audio element, the lighting becomes too chaotic. How can you dance to messy light with no beat? Impossible, right? Keep it simple. Second, some colors work light with DMX bars and others don't. Here are the good ones. And here are the ones to avoid. My favorite is combination of blue and red. Okay, now maybe you're wondering, wait, you said that this was the first version. I show it to my client and he was almost satisfied, except for one thing. Can you guess what he pointed out? He said, it's got too many elements and the design isn't user-friendly. I was a little bit shocked. As a touch user and a user, like me and you, we are used to this UI. We've been playing washed by derivative, right? But he had a point. Look at the Google's homepage, just the search bar and the logo. Even though they offer the tons of features like Drive, Gmail and more, they keep it simple and focus on what users want to do. Their design makes you want to search something. Even if you don't have a topic, like tomorrow's weather, when One Piece will end, why people are into K-pop auditions shows. So I reorganize the UI, focusing on the essential component and the cutting the unnecessary element. I redesign it to be simple and easy to use. Besides, I discovered a style called pneumophism, and I learned a lot about it. And voila! Here's a version I used for the event. In addition to the UI improvement, I added to strobe animation, button animation, and a mellow noise animation for live performance. These were incredibly helpful during the truck drops and the irregular beat. It let me manipulate the tension and release, which is super important for keeping the cool vibe. So I did the lighting performance at the venue New York. During the event, I understood why my client emphasized the simplicity. Live shows are chaotic, so chaotic, and unexpected things happen all the time. I had to deal with the power cable getting unplugged, water spilling, and even a random guy who kept asking me, where's the toilet? But it, in the end, everything went well because I did simplicity. After the event, people came up to me and said, the lighting was so amazing, how did you learn? 
タッチュザイナー ?How can I learn タッチュザイナー ?Okay, that's my moment.Watch me a m o d e l tutorial.But more importantly, the system I made for the event is Softy DMX, which is available for everyone on my Patreon.It includes all my knowledge with optimization for DMX lighting.Over 50 people are already using it. Whether they are on the free or paid version, we're building beautiful light animation together. I recently updated to support the multiple universe and the flame light setting. This is especially useful when working with Unreal Engine. As you can see, I, I'll keep improving it, so if you're interested, check out my Patreon or the link in the description. Okay, in conclusion, things to do is sync your animation with the beat. Design for usability. Things to, to avoid be caution with yellow and white colors. Don't overload your interface with unnecessary components. If you've got your own experience or tips to share from your project, leave them in the comment below. I'm looking forward to reading them. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Ciao.